Hi, I'm Joel Jones from Jonesy's Auto Restoration in Ridgefield, Washington, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to uh, plan and execute your custom paint job on your classic car. So when you're starting a project, you don't really want to keep the same nasty color that that car had from the 60s. So you're thinking that you're going to want to modernize, upgrade, and customize your paint job. So where do you start? Well, you start by looking at new cars and choosing color schemes that you think are gonna work for yours. Now, if you take this car, for example, it's a 1941 Plymouth. The owner wanted it to look like it could have been a color scheme that was available in 1941. And so he went around to the local new car dealers and chose two um, different color schemes to do a custom two-tone paint job um, using modern base coat, clear coat uh, system. So he has a classic car that has modern paint, but it is applied and it looks like it could have been a, um, an actual option back in 1941. Some of the things that he decided to his own personal preference was to carry the two-tone uh, theme all throughout his, his project. So if you look around the car, you can see the cowl vent right there. Um, is the contrasting color which is the same as the fenders and you can pretty much let your imagination run wild when you're when you're designing and doing a custom uh, paint job because the paint pretty much costs the same regardless of what color you're going to choose reds are generally the most expensive whites are generally the least expensive so if you're if you're concerned about budget then choose your colors kind of along those lines um, pre-mixed colors, pre-packaged colors, those are always less expensive than the custom colors. Um, these are not considered custom colors because they are mixed directly from a manufacturer's paint code. This is an actual Volkswagen color. So we went to the paint shop, got the uh, paint chip that was specific for a, a Volkswagen that has this color. Um, and the same goes for the, the tan, the lighter tan. Um, those were both mixed off of a coat. That will save you some money and make it a lot easier to uh, get replacement paint if you ever need to in the future. Um, one other tip that you can use for custom paints, carry your paint job color scheme throughout into the interior. So a lot of times manufacturers will stop, they'll paint the exterior of the car and then they'll stop and then they'll have a completely different color on the interior. Well, it looks pretty cool on certain cars to carry that color scheme throughout the interior. And so what we did on the dash with this car is we colored, we maintained the same two contrasting colors all the way through into the steering column, into the dash, into some of the trim pieces in the dash so that you really feel like you're going into something that is a one of a kind. It's, there's no other car out there that has this same color scheme. Some other tips that uh, can make your paint job look uh, very custom without doing anything with custom colors or clears or candies or anything like that is just by the addition of some custom pinstriping. Uh, this is a silver leaf with two eighth inch black uh, pinstripes on top. It runs the whole length of the truck. Um, you can apply these before or after clear coat. This one's on top of the clear coat, so you need to be careful about polishing and stuff like that because this uh, pinstripe and silver leaf is pretty fragile. But this uh, can oftentimes substitute trim um, pretty, pretty well so that you don't have to buy replacement trim or if your trim is dented, you can fill those holes up and then just uh, pinstripe it and add some silver leaf at a later date. Another really simple thing you can do to make your paint job look custom is by the addition of custom emblems. Um, the aftermarket suppliers of parts have all kinds of different options for different emblems that uh, promote different engine sizes, different packages and stuff like that that you can buy and put on your vehicle. So keep that in mind because a lot of times you can make a paint job look custom just by the addition of pinstripes, emblems and things like that. Finally, one thing I'm going to show you that's very subtle that, that makes a big difference in terms of, uh, of appearance is by adding things in underneath of the paint or integrating in different textures in the paint. And if you look down here, since this is a big off-road uh, four-wheel drive truck, we implemented in some uh, what's called rocker guard that we painted the same color as the rest of the truck. And we just broke it with a tape line and sprayed this on and then painted over it. 
And this adds some lower uh, protection from rock chips and gives the truck a heavier duty look without um, making it stand out. Like if this were black, then it would look, it would, it would stand out. So implementing in things like that can be uh, really easy, simple things to do that uh, will make your paint job look very custom. So finally, um, one of the other things that you can do to make your paint job appear to be custom and customize it individually for you um, is to have uh, the pinstriper or somebody airbrush or stencil on some custom logos. Um, in this case, we had our, our company logo and our company website um, done in Silverleaf on the back tailgate just as a kind of an advertising thing. And in addition to that, the owner wanted the Ford logo on the back to be contrasting. So we had them uh, silver leaf out the letters and then block them with quarter inch wide uh, blackout. So hopefully these tips uh, give you some inspiration on how you can customize your paint jobs.